Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Silly Skylines, the British Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So in episode 22 we began work on the city centre shopping centre. Um, so yeah, this is episode is just going to be us filling in the gaps, adding a few little bits and bobs here and there and just get this area complete really. I, I want to move on to more interesting projects and uh, this one is an interesting one but I think it's got this it's got the time now where we need to move on we need to complete this and I've got a few ideas for this episode so let's get it on so I think in terms of assets I think we've got pretty much everything we need I've got a few ideas I'm thinking of a little bus um, drive through depot a area um, and I'm thinking now what we can do in this area here the front end uh, I'm not too much of a fan of of this um, but I did decide to try and bring it out and try and create any sort of focal point so to speak but as you will see in a few moments time the idea didn't quite work um, I was actually doing this episode live on the, on Twitch as well and you guys gave me some great feedback on on what we should do here and in the end it didn't work as you can see it was looking a little bit out of place and I would have had to carry that across the other side and I didn't really like that, there's already quite a lot of concrete around so I deleted it and I decided to create a little pond area here. So we've made some work on some terraforming around here which I'm not the best at I must admit but we got a good shape going in the end and my idea was here to have a pathway across the top um, over this little pondy area just to sort of create a focal point for when you're entering the, the city and coming into the shopping centre. And I'll be honest, it did take me a little while to actually get the right um, sort of fitting for this. Um, I wanted to get the level of the water correct. I wanted to make the actual size of the pond to a suitable level. Um, didn't want it to be overpowering, but I did want it to be a focal point. So it did take a bit of time to do that. Um, but not as much time as it took me to get the uh, actual crossing over the top correct. It took me a lot of goes to try and sort this out. Um, Obviously with the node mod now, which I have, um, I didn't have it during this episode, but I do have it now, that made things a lot easier. Well, sorry, that will make things a lot easier. But this was hand done and rather difficult, I must admit. But um, we got there in the end. We got the crossing over. Um, and yeah, I think that came out really well. It certainly does seem nowadays that the big shopping centres outside of London do have some sort of a focal point um, and I was thinking what better than a nice little little pondy area here um, I was thinking well what we do is we'll cover this all up in the gravel and we'll put some of the stones around it but what we're going to do now we're going to jump into a live play of me doing so and we're going to have a look how this turns out so the first job really is to get the water level to the right height so we're going to just adjust this a little bit. It's always difficult to see until you come out of the um, editing mode to how high it actually goes. You don't want it to overflow, but I like the idea of having some of it sort of just edging over onto the grass rather than a ginormous pit anyway. Uh, so let's just get this going here. Okay, so the next step is to cover the whole area with the gravel, I think. Um, Let's get the stones, let's check out, actually we might go with the stones, I think we'll need the gravel first and then we'll put the stones on after because they will work well together and it also does hide up the uh, the edge in most places, didn't do it there, never mind, uh, the stones will cover those anyway. Let's get these bits going, da, 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 all the way across, okay some of these aren't doing that, I'm guessing it's because of the, uh, the height that we've got to play with but it doesn't matter we will be covering these over with the uh, the pebbly stones which we'll do in a second Let's try and get these last little corners in so we can't do these bits but as I say it shouldn't matter okay right let's go back to the stones and this is gonna be the long-winded part of just adding them all the way around so obviously we'll go dense in the middle um, and then sort of slowly scatter it out across the uh, grass as well. I want the grass to also have a few of these stones scattered so it looks a bit more pur not, not purpose built but a little more realistic I guess. Um, obviously something like this would most likely be purpose built 
um, and not real in the sense of that it was here before but we'll just carry on over here and bring this out a little bit more so you can see it covers over anyway the um, bits that we couldn't put the gravel over to so at least that's covered now we'll go a step down and just get these bits filtered out as well we're gonna have obviously trees around this I'm thinking of using some of that long grass inside as well that will look really nice I think to bring out the sort of wildlife side of this area rather than it's just plonked in the middle of nowhere it needs to look realistic so we'll just finish off these corners with a few stones okay in that corner and the same down here and over here might have to put a few more stones in the middle of the actual pond just to cover up some of that area there okay let's bring this out a little bit more just to cover this area we don't really need the grass to be showing at this stage it's going to be covered in trees and, and some foliagey bits anyway and just filter these out on these corners like that because I do like these stones they do look really realistic and I do like the look they give sort of banking over to the actual well banking over to any sort of water um, it does look really appealing and does look very lifelike in my opinion okay give it a quick save okay so that's the core done this is the basics now I was thinking about maybe a pathway across this but I don't think it's gonna work because of the the rays we've got here I would have liked to put the same concrete down as we did for the uh, actual pathways and main area but I don't think we'll get away with that go up to there just filter in some of these I do like these large these textures which are just being brought out in the workshop they do look really good and when you combine in these textures with other textures you've already got it's incredible how well you can find some combinations that work so now we can bring this water level up a bit more now we've got the foundation down and that looks a lot better so you see what I mean I wanted to have the edge over the corners here so it's kind of floating into the actual flat land but not quite so obviously we don't want it to to flood or anything stupid like that but that does look good okay so next step not the cat we'll leave that alone let's get the long grass in so we want a few little areas I don't want to cover the whole lot in in this grass I just want to just have some bits just coming through um, I don't want this to look too sort of sharp and trimmed it's still a sort of you know a little area that's a bit of wildlife around here it's got to be left to be overgrown a little bit um, rather than looking too sort of out of place so we'll add a few in these corners a few bits scattered around the sides I'm probably have to go for the longer grass as well um, to go inside the actual um, pond and we'll just go in the corner it's not going to go too deep because that means I'm going to have to do some more terraforming which will probably mess everything up but we'll get in the shallow end and add a few of these little bits here and there excellent yeah, a few here underneath the bridge and in these corners Excellent. Just poking through, nothing too over the top. Just, just to sort of look like you know, sort of water lily sort of bits and sort of areas you see ponds in. They do have this sort of look in the UK anyway. Okay, what else we got? It's got a little grass. We'll add some of this in a different colour texture, which looks good. I'm gonna break things up a little bit. Okay, a few more little bits around here. You can see it's starting to come alive now it doesn't just look like a, a pond with stones around it it's definitely come alive we're gonna put some of this grass on the stone areas as well sort of act as the sort of weedy areas um, just a few scattered around just to bring out a bit of different color as well and in these corners yep okay what else have we got to add so we'll use these trees in these corners 
so I'm sort of thinking of having the trees all the way around the side but not too much that you can't see the actual pond so a few in these corners a few over here and there and there and a few of these just to act as an entrance so this is the sort of the the tunnel approach you get when you're looking through into the shopping center and the shopping center itself is quite a nice looking one to be honest i know it's a, a german based asset but it does its job here i think that still i can still pull that off here with the the british theme okay so that's getting somewhere and a few more trees around we can probably add a few of these as well I want to add a bit more depth as well to these sort of areas and add in a different type of tree will do that and I do really like this one this is one you always tend to see around the pond I'll add a few of these ones as well now these willows are nice but the texture isn't quite up to the standards of the rest but we'll try a few in this corner here I'm not sure which one that one looks a bit better just a little bit of a willow tree there and maybe one just as you're coming in uh, just about there so it doesn't work too bad it's not the best but it suits the theme I'll just have a few scattered bits here just to bring out a different bit of colourage and a few little bushes around as well okay bang 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 right we are getting somewhere so I want to add these trees as well the this sort of a range of trees back over here so the standard combination that I've typically gone for in the past I think we'll also do that um, so here maybe a pathway I think that's gonna to cause too much of an issue the pathway would look good um, going around the whole area but I think we've kind of left that a bit too late now um, and I don't think that's really going to work for us now. So that's that pretty much done. We're going to jump into a time lapse now just whilst I add the hedges around the sides just to enclose the area a little bit more. And there we go. So yeah, much better now it's all enclosed in. Really do like that. Definitely come off a lot better than I was expecting. Now, as I said earlier in the video, my next idea was to add a little bus um, drop off zone here. Uh, with a little bus station and it looks a good area to put it in it's right by the front of the uh, the shopping center and I think this sort of area is naturally going to have a bus station of some description I know we've got the bus depot over the road but you want to have a station here where everyone can just come to go shopping and get home quickly so the plan was just to add a little one here um, these are the ones I did like I'm going to change this to a one way I think that looks better like that maybe let's try it with the grass see what that looks like let's have a look if that's any better Um, looks good but I don't think it quite fits the theme here so we're gonna go back to the standard um, standard two-way sorry one-way dual road just like that okay so this is going to be quite a quick little project here. We're just going to get rid of these here. So we've got a bit of a, a way in for the actual passengers. And we're going to put a bit of foliage around as well and just see where this takes us really. There's quite a lot of good assets actually on the workshop for sort of these bus stationary areas. We're going to have a few signs down. Let's, uh... yep, I like that. That's good. Not sure if it's the best in terms of British, in terms of that um, station, but it works for this area and also when I was on the uh, Twitch live stream someone actually mentioned that it looks a bit like the British flag um, sorry not the British flag the English flag which uh, it kind of does actually but uh, never mind let's keep that I like that and we'll put some bushes down here as well uh, I do like these ones these do look good and you can really combine these together to bring out some really colorful foliage and they do fit in really well with each other as well it's not an issue when you try and overlap they do tend to you can pull it off pretty much so let's do the same in this corner here and there just twist these around to follow the pathway oh let's give it that 
and the same here and then we'll go back to the circular ones and just fill in the rest and the corner here excellent okay perfect ignore the fact that there's lorries driving into the shopping center anyway right okay so we got this area done here this is looking good all filled out okay yep and there and we'll put a little bit here to cover up this gap here we could concrete it in but you want to have a bit of foliage you want to have a bit of bright and colorful areas here especially for this area being the main city center you want to have it looking as pretty as possible okay so that's pretty much that bit done there and a few trees as well just the smaller ones here and here and the same in this corner as well and that looks brilliant I like that and maybe one here just a little one yeah that'll do perfect okay that's come to life quite quickly actually I like that okay right next job is to add to the actual bus station so we'll have one just there so that looks good I love the fact that it opens up the road and we're just gonna do a quick little line here from the depot and back just so we've got some um, buses going around obviously we need to spend an episode or so actually getting the transportation sorted in this uh, British challenge because we are lacking behind massively uh, but yeah as you can see there we go we've got the little bus station part now so it's all looking a lot more realistic have we got any buses coming yet Oh, we missed them. There we go. It's got some random pink ones. So we'll obviously change those at some point just to make them a little bit more British. Because I don't recall any pink British buses, to be honest. We're going to jump into a little short time lapse now, just while I complete the final touches, and we'll catch up shortly. Okay, so I'm happy with that. The bus station looks great. And what I've started doing here is the pair, where the pub is above, we're just going to do a little pub garden here, really. Um, so we've already put the benches down, used the new grass decor asset um, to try that out to give a bit more of a, I guess, a more of a dirty, grassy area. It's not saying it's well looked after. It's a pub garden. It's, you know, been torn up. It's been used by many people. Um, so this is just a little bit for me to experiment as well with these new decor and trying to see what we can do um, with that so we're gonna have a little park as well in this corner um, obviously all custom built I'm not using any of the um, park actual assets it's all just the props so we'll get a few of these in here and that's, uh, it's a shame as well the only annoying thing about these props is they are all scattered around at the moment they're not all in one area which would make life a lot easier um, I'm thinking of having a little gazebo -y area. Perhaps it's where they have their barbecues um, in the summer or, you know, a little outdoor um, bar area as well. That will work quite nicely. So let's try and, uh, okay, we might have a bit of trouble here deleting items from the decor because they are such a big area. So we might have to delete all of these here just to get to this bench. Um, yes can't pick it up otherwise okay let's do that anyway let's just delete what we can and i think we have to try and find the white version we we'll have to keep rotating around till we get to the white ones i think blue doesn't quite look the same okay excellent finally I was able to delete that okay 
let's try that again no I just have to place them all down I think aren't I before there we go there's one white we'll use that one there delete that one blue no good the other one's better yeah that one's a little bit better excellent let's try and get this as close as possible and there we go I'm a little bit out but that's okay I'm happy with that so now let's get rid of these have the same issue again aren't we should have done that somewhere else never mind okay nice and easy bang 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 a lot quicker than the previous time and now that's what we got here might be too many having an extra one there we might just have to keep to the two um okay the pathway this will look good actually we'll um, have a pathway leading over to that area and I do like these ones, these little stepping stones. When you put them together, they do look really good together, especially on top of grass. Gives you that sort of, not crazy paving, but just a sort of patio area, area I guess. And uh, it's quite common in the UK to see this sort of pattern of grounds. Um, so we'll knock those across there. And the same in this corner is to bridge the two together. I don't think we'll go further around. Um, I want to have the, the grass area as the main area here okay okay that's pretty much there we're going to jump into one final time lapse just while i complete this area we're going to add another little function area as well which we'll probably put a little statue in so we'll speak shortly <laughs> Okay guys, that is that. And I'm extremely pleased with how this come, has come out in the end. The pond area looks absolutely amazing. The building itself, I think we can get away with using that as a British themed building. It's not, I know, but there isn't anything on the workshop. 
So as you pan down the side here, we've got the statue with the little gardens, the pub with the pub garden, which came out really nice. You see, I had a few issues as well with that pub at one point, but um, yep, yeah, excellent. I'm liking that. And yeah, overall, extremely pleased with how this has come out. Um, I think we're going to leave it there today, guys. Enjoy these final moments, and episode 24, we'll be looking to move on to creating the next project. So until then, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like the video, it'd be great. And we'll speak again soon. All the best.